we call the seventh factor of resistance to change professional well-being. Let me share an example from a project we worked on with a group of cooperative banks. The challenge was clear. The bank clerks were asked to shift into a more commercially oriented role, which meant uh, uh, calling clients they weren't expecting the call, uh, booking appointments and meeting them in order to sell products like loans, uh, credit cards, uh, car insurance and so on. This request was so far removed from the traditional image of the profession they had signed for that it naturally sparked resistance. The solution we found was built together with the clerks themselves. We designed a new commercial approach where communication was aligned with their professional image. This approach had nothing to do with pushing products, but instead it strengthened their position as trusted advisors. And that solution not only is the resistance, it also led to better commercial results than expected. When we hear the term well-being, we might imagine sitting calmly in a yoga position, deeply and breathily, being very relaxed, but it actually has little to do with avoiding effort and challenges, which we know uh, often they are necessary to achieve goals. Professional well-being means alignment. Alignment with our purpose, hierarchy of values, identity, and even our personal history and character. And when we have this alignment, the effort feels meaningful and it provides uh, intrinsic motivation. The challenge becomes rewarding rather than draining. In this example, instead of relying on a complex and costly management system uh, to control and force people to do something they didn't want to do on a daily basis, we took care of the change by looking for a self-reinforcing solution. We leveraged the collective intelligence in order to generate a way of doing things that was good for both the business goal and the people involved. So the key question is whether the change you are proposing is actually increasing the professional well-being of the employees who are actively involved in it.